This is a 2021 Citroen EC4. This model is the top of the range Shine Plus. And in this video, I'm just going to talk about the cameras and the sensors on this vehicle because there's a few features which just aren't documented, aren't in the sales brochures, and also uh, never seems to get mentioned on review videos. So, first off, let's talk about cameras. So this is the Shine Plus, as I said, top of the range, and you get one camera here at the back, just like you do on a lot of modern cars. However, this has got a bird's eye view inside, and normally when you get that, you have cameras under the mirrors to see down the sides, yet this doesn't, it's just got a light there. And normally you would have a camera at the front, and as standard, this doesn't either. There is an option for that, which I'll explain in a minute. So when you're inside the vehicle and we put the vehicle into reverse, we can then see out the back of the car through that rear camera. And this is the bird's eye view. And as you can see, we're only seeing the back because we've only got the one camera. Yet, if I go backwards, and I'm in a private car park here, as you can see, as I go backwards, it is giving me side images yet there's no cameras and what it's doing is it's taking that feed from the rear camera and is putting it along the sides as it gets that information so it's very clever but if i go back further it's not giving us any more at the front so all it will do is the sides but Hang on, let me just put it into reverse again. But it will work as a bird's eye view. It's a very clever system doing that from only one camera. So to get the full 360 degree uh, bird's eye view, there's actually another option. So on this Shine Plus, you don't get many options when you buy it new. It pretty much comes with all the equipment as standard. However, there is one and that is City Park Pack, and that adds Park Assist and 360 degree vision. And it's available on the Shine and the Shine Plus for £350. But what that extra gives you is the front mounted camera, as well as the parking feature. And that's what's not very clear, it's not sort of documented. So for that extra 350 quid, you get the front camera and then you get that full 360 degree view in your uh, camera images up there on the screen. So if you're looking to buy a brand new Citroen EC4 and you want the surround cameras, then you do need to tick that £350 option for the City Park Pack. Or if you're looking to buy a used Citroen EC4, and you want the surround systems, the surround camera system, then you do need to find one that's got this pack fitted from the factory. However, I suspect very few of them have. So another feature of this reversing camera, if I put it into reverse, we've got the lines here that you can see where the vehicle is going to line up. And when you turn the steering, it turns accordingly, which is great and they all do that so if I reverse into a space and you can see I'm going to reverse up to a car there let me just zoom in on that you can see I've got the white lines of the space there and I can maneuver the car in between the lines but as I come up to the car behind we get the parking sensor to say it's close and look at that as I get closer it changes to a bird's eye view to show me the car behind or the post or whatever I'm driving up to. And I haven't seen that before on a vehicle, or well, certainly not a vehicle of this sort of price range. And that feature is listed here and is standard on, I'm just trying to find it, there we go. So it's standard on the Sense Plus, Shine and Shine Plus, and it's called reversing camera with top rear vision. And that works particularly well, particularly if you're driving up to a bollard or something. Those last few inches, it gives you a bird's eye view so you can really get close. So let's just find someone I can try that again. Well, I'm not reversing up to someone else's car. So here's a good example. You're going to charge your car. 
So I'm going to reverse up to a DC rapid charger here, but I'm not parking in the bay. I'm going to, for this example, just park on the hashed area and I'm driving up to two bollards and there's the two bollards and as I get close I've got that drop down view but I've also got another bird's eye view here of course and can I switch to the other view? No, I think when you're in it yeah you can, you can switch to the other view there so yeah, it works really well. So I could probably drop back a little bit more. There we go, sensors are bleeping. And I can switch to the other view, I guess. No, zoom view, there we go. That's what it's called, the zoom view. So yeah, it works very well. But obviously I could have got a lot closer there. As always, when the sensors go off, you still have a bit to play with, but uh, I'm not going to risk it while I'm holding a camera with one hand and multitasking like I am to film this video. So what I'm going to do now is just reverse again next to a car there and we can see this bird's eye view populate as I get close to the car. So I'm going to go in a car parking space next to the car and I pulled in quite close to the car there, but nothing's behind me. But as you can see, we've got the car along the side. And I'm seeing the car along the side, yet it's remembered it from the camera feed as I passed it. And if I look across, there's the car at the side of me. So even though there's no side cameras on this car, that system works just as well as vehicles that do have it however as you can see now the image has faded away so it doesn't stay because there isn't a camera supplying that feed so that's the only difference when you're actually maneuvering when you've passed the object and it starts filtering in here it works just as well as a car that's got cameras but when you start off as if i got in the car now in the morning let's say and there's something beside me, it's not going to show it because there's no camera feed. It's only going to show it as you pass it and it's captured from that rear camera. So next, sensors. When it comes to the ultrasonic parking sensors, we can see there it's got sensors at the front as standard. Along the front they're in the plastic uh, grill here, either side of the radar, and then you've got one here on the corner but you've got one which is very much on the side there. And again, it's the same on the back. One at the side, one on the corner, two low down near the fog light, and again, corner and side on this side. So now let's talk about the sensors. So they work the same as any other car, to be honest, but because this has got sensors on the sides, one thing it does differently to other vehicles that I've seen is it does tell you when something is along the side of the car um, and it works the same way as that camera feed so let's just see whether I can prove that or show that so let's pull up beside this car so the front corner sensor has detected something and along the side but no I'm not getting what I thought I was going to get so that's a bad example so let's do another example where I know it will work and this is very much a real world example where it really does help so what I'm going to do now is just drive around the corner and I'm going to drive through a McDonald's drive through and that's where I've noticed this system really does help because it picks up curbs along the side of the vehicle that normally sensors wouldn't detect. And this has no sensors along the side, but it adds an extra function that, as I said, isn't documented. So I'm going to pull into a McDonald's drive through I've placed a little order using the 99p offer today and let's have a look to see whether it works as I go around the tight turns and curbs of this drive-through. 
So it's quarter past one. I didn't realise it was lunchtime and I've only come here uh, because I know the sensors uh, go off in this particular way driving through this drive through and next door is the car park where I could demonstrate the rear camera so I thought it was a good place to cool down to make this video but I didn't realise it was lunchtime so worst timing because there's a queue which is hardly moving. This guy is taking orders on the tablet supposedly to speed the queue up but he's right next to the normal uh, terminal so not really achieving anything at all apart from standing out in the rain giving himself a cold by the looks of it so let's see whether this works as I come round look at that. it's not gonna work <laughs> oh gold normally it would be telling me there's a curb on this side and I would see the sensors up there and it would be bleeping red and I've got quite close to the curb here and obviously the side of the building but nothing today. That's annoying because I wouldn't have come today. I haven't come to get anything. I've only come down to make this video. Hi. Yeah. That's it. Okay. But on the plus side, I've used the Christmas offer, so getting a Big Mac for only 99p and getting a coffee with some points. So I'm having a Big Mac and a coffee for 99 pence. But that's annoying because I think every time I've driven through this McDonald's drive through in this car, I see these size sensors come up and think, oh, that's quite impressive that it's doing that via only the front or rear sensors uh, and that's what's prompted me to uh, make this video anyway I'll see if I can make it do it in the car park or somewhere else but I can't drive back through here again so anyway you'll have to take my word for it I think that these sensors work like that let's just try it again on this rapid charger so if I pull in in the proper bay this time near the bollard I'm still not getting sensors. Right, let's just pull back and try again. So I'm getting sensors at the corner. And then are they going to follow through? There we go. They're following through on the side. There we go. That's what I was expecting to see in the drive through. It's telling us the obstruction is down the side and now it's to the rear. So it's very clever. It doesn't have sensors on the side, but it's using the front sensors and it remembers the location and it displays the obstruction on the side when the car passes it in a similar way to what the camera feed is doing with only the one camera. So I got there eventually. So I hope you found that useful demonstrated a few functions that this car has got with the sensors and the cameras which aren't clear uh, and not even particularly clear from the sales brochure either so it will help if you're looking to buy one of these and particularly want it so you can find that it's got the correct equipment fitted um, and this is a shine plus so um, obviously with the Shine Plus you get all this stuff as standard apart from that additional front camera. Okay that will do if you found it useful as always please do click the thumbs up button that really does help do subscribe to the channel and if you want to know more about these cars the Citroen EC4 there's a link in the uh, video description below to a playlist where you can see other videos I've made on these vehicles. Okay, I'll see you on the next one.